Stevie, a 4 0 win tonight here against Vale, leaving his show that 90 minutes was. I'm pleased with it, we kept a clean sheet, we scored four goals, should have been a lot more, we scored a, had a lot of chances. Um, it's one of the games where you're hoping you're going to take your chances, but it wasn't to be. Um, and credit to Vale Leaven, they came here and they played, they were quite open, they tried to play, they actually played in the manner Joe Murray, the manager, used to play the game. It's quite refreshing to see that and if they keep doing that, I'm sure they'll, they'll find a winning way eventually because if they keep doing the right things, keep playing that way, they'll do alright. But for our, our own team, it was good to see the goals go in, Melly got a goal in his debut and three of the strikers scored a goal each, which is, you know, the four strikers played tonight, three of them scored, so delighted with that, so got to be happy. It's three points at home, it's a clean sheet. That's great. You mentioned a goal in his debut for Sean Melvin. What's the thinking behind bringing him in? I've known Sean for a while. I had him at um, Newton Grange. I think I man marked him for a year when he was at Leith. Uh, he's a very good player. He can play anywhere across the back four. He can play him in field. And if you need him, you could probably put him up top as well. He's just a good player. He's experienced. He's had a horrendous time injury over the last couple of years with his ankle and his hip. But he's back now. He's phoned me maybe, what, a month, month and a half ago asking to come to train and I was like I come and train see where it goes he's trained really well showed up and my boys and the team are asking when are you sign him when are you sign him you know you've got a player there that's why Melly's come in and I think he'll help us he's a good size good athlete and can play so that deal will be concluded as we speak as if you like <laughs> Dougie I think we've already signed him it's just not been processed yet uh, goal scorer as well well he does get goals to be fair to him he does get goals he does we've also not been in action since the uh, 3rd of December how's the break been it's been frustrating to be honest with you. Last week was really frustrating. We only got to train once last week, which was at um, Marine Drive, an indoor Astro, because the weather was horrendous. This pitch was, believe it or not, it, was, it had six inches of snow in it. Uh, the ground must have been sawed as well underneath, so it looked like we were going to go tonight either. So tonight's been a wee bonus. Uh, so it has been frustrating not being able to train as much as we'd like to, but on the other side of it, you've got Bob Watt another week towards fitness you've got PT totally fit now you've got others who are coming back slowly but surely the time's been great and also I think you saw tonight the boys look less tired and I've got a few who have played a lot of minutes who didn't start tonight who were needing that break and I think it showed and I think tonight it showed we were a bit fresher and with all due respect to the opposition they're not the best team in the league but we showed up and we played how we had to play and it was good and it be fair I'm pleased that the boys have had the break and they now look more refreshed and tonight was our last match of 2022. Can you sort of surmise the year? It's, uh, yeah, it's been a year of highs and lows. Um, I've been here now since last August. And this year, this calendar year, this time last year, we're looking at going, oh, we've got to keep the run going, keep the run going, and get ourselves in amongst that. And it's not really changed. I know I think I've got a hell of a lead on everybody now, given the, the, the points that were awarded in that as well, and the other week there. But it's not really changed much, the mindset's still not changed, it's game by game, we want to finish as high as we possibly can and be as competitive as we can be. And that comes with a club like Pennycook, where the expectations are high, and that's great. The players have got high expectations themselves as well. So it's been a great year, we've had a lot of turnover in the squad. In the summer there, we lost two players to Edinburgh City. We had one player retire, with another player who, for, unfortunately for us, we just couldn't have in the squad anymore, It was significant. A player was on loan, decided to go elsewhere. So we had a lot of players who were former players that we lost, and we had to bring in a lot of players. And the initial stage of this season, it looked very, very promising, but the last month has taken its toll. We've really struggled through injuries, and perhaps just a bit naive at times with the, within the squad. But you know what? We're bouncing back now, and we'll be there and thereabouts. We're a decent side. We're a work in progress. Do you have a message for the Pennycook supporters over the festive period? Have a great time and get yourselves out to watch us when come January because you've got a good team there that are just going to get better and better. You've got a lot of young boys in there who have got a lot of promise and can give a lot to this club over the coming years and they need your support. Simple as that. They just need your support. Well, have a great Christmas. Thank you very much.